good. You're here. Big crowd for middle of nowhere. Wait, you didn't hear? Pirate treasure to be found. And the bay supposedly littered with his loot. I thought Easton was just a legend. Oh, no, he's real. Peter Easton, the pirate admiral. Used Newfoundland as his home. What do we got, sir? Oh, hey, uh, this is all very preliminary right now, but we have a male victim mid-30s. It was tricky to exhume him. The site is heavily waterlogged. Any chance that he washed in from the ocean, sand from the tide covered him up? Oh, it's too deep. Definitely a deliberate burial. How long has he been here? Uh, it's hard to say. The body was pretty bloated. Maybe up to four days? Rex. Metal detector. Looks like he was on the hunt as well. Your ex-wife's book is really everywhere lately, huh? Yeah, it's a true bestseller. From every coffee shop and waiting room, there's Julia just staring right back at me. I'm sure the hype will die down eventually. Bread mixed reviews. John Doe has a name, Ira Kirsch. He's a journalist from the Toronto Sentinel. Long way from home. His wife was devastated. She was looking to file a missing persons report when we contacted her. Yeah. Kirsch published an article about the treasure hunt last week. Here, listen to this. Naive fortune seekers have descended on the bay off a mere hint, throwing money at tall tales. But if he thought the whole thing was a hoax, what was he doing on the beach with a metal detector? Maybe he found something that changed his mind. You look at that coin yet? I still have to have it verified, but judging by the shape and patina, it does look like the real deal. So there could be more coins out there in the hands of our killer. Who are the big players in the hunt, Joe? No, oh, there aren't that many, but uh, there's a lot more now that that Peter Easton biography came out. Sorry about that. Uh, but if I were you, I'd look into the Birch siblings. Their family's been digging for generations. Yeah. Here they are. Francis and Griffin Birch. Kirsch profiles them in his article, calls them frauds, luring tourists to the bay with folk tales. Sounds like a good place to start. Come on, pal. Hey, Sarah, any news? The autopsy report is in. Cause of death was definitely drowning, but the body had some distinct post-mortem scrapes on the back of the legs. Like he was dragged. This is what I'm thinking, yeah. So the beach isn't our crime scene. Exactly, but we may have an idea where it actually is. Charlie, what do you know about tidal pools? How much do I need to know? Well, they're a distinct ecosystem. After low tide, you're left with flora and fauna that are unique to each pool. Or in this case, are victim's lungs. Wait, does that narrow down our location? Yes. Yes, there are pools that match the profile about 20 kilometers down the coast. I am sending you the coordinates right now. I'm gonna meet you there, Charlie. Okay, on my way. Let's go. Now, this looks like a treasure. No kidding. Whoever's funding this site, they're not here to play. Wanna well, tell me who's in charge here? Hello, Charlie. Julia. Hi. Hi. Aren't you going to introduce us, Charlie? Sarah Drew. Hi, head of forensics. Nice to meet you. Yeah, Sarah, this is um, Julia Tillman, my ex wife. dog owner? You put up such a fight when I wanted to adopt a rescue. Oh, you're gonna tell me that story? I don't own Rex. He's my partner. What are you doing here? Digging. I scored a university grant to continue my research on Peter Easton. You did not get my book. I sent you an advanced copy. I moved. Uh, everyone's digging in the Northwest because of your book. Wh what are you doing here in the Southeast? A colleague brought me an artifact that might have cracked the mystery. I've been looking at the clues all wrong. Anyone else know about that? 
I'm sorry, why the sudden police interest? We've got permits to dig. Someone might have been murdered here. Here? You're kidding. Has anyone besides you or your crew been on site? No, just my contractors. No security on watch? No need. We've kept the site under wraps. Really? Even from a reporter from Toronto? I've never seen that man before. Good job, partner. I'm gonna have to shut down your site while we do forensic analysis. Charlie, I'm on the schedule. Sorry, Rex smells a victim here. It's not a crime scene. Well, I'd like to stay on site in case your team turns up anything significant. That shouldn't be a problem. I'm gonna need you and your workers to provide your whereabouts for the past week. Fine, I've got nothing to hide. Good. Sarah, I'll, I'll see you later. Yep. Nice to meet you, handsome. Rex, come on. Hey. <laughs> hmm. They sure seem friendly. Yeah. Um, turn up anything at the site? Yeah, how about boot prints that match shoes Kirsch was buried in? It's definitely a crime scene. And more importantly, you are looking at a genuine 17th century Spanish Dublin. Oh, wow, that's incredible. You're sure? Even double-checked with a colleague at the university. This is going to be huge. Yeah, that'd be great if we didn't find it on a dead man. <clears throat> Julia, I've been reading your book. Can you tell me how you came across those captain's logs? Ah, uh, that is a very interesting story, actually. Sarah, what are you doing? That's a crucial piece of evidence. She's still a credible suspect. She's the only one qualified to verify it. And there was another set of prints on the scene that didn't match Julia or her crew, so we might be able to rule her out. You're right. Uh, I'm sorry. That's good news. Look, I understand the skepticism. I, I know Julia doesn't have a great track record of being honest with you. I'm just trying to keep my head on straight and focus on the case. Totally get it. Just trust that I know what I'm doing. You got it. Sorry. So, so I'm out five grand for the drone I crashed into. Jesse, the footage. Footage, right? He should be sending it right now. Okay, so the videographer has been taking these time lapse shots nightly. Now, with Francis's statement. We know that Kirsch was at the scene on Thursday, then we should be able to... Wait a second. I know that boat. That's, that's Barrett's boat. It was on his yacht. Well, so let's bring him in. Well, who's to know that Barrett was driving? <coughs> Julia, you would have had access to that boat, too. You, uh, all right? Yeah, surprisingly, feeling fine. Well, not every case is gonna throw a year's worth of therapy at you, I guess. Six is more like it. I have avoided looking at my marriage for an awful long time. Yeah. What'd you learn? Hmm. Well, if you don't walk the same road, then you just end up taking different paths. Mm. It's not anybody's fault. So you're okay? Yeah. I think I can turn the page on that part of my life focus on what's next. Oh, what's that? Your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> <laughs>